Dake and Bakers. Today we are going to make some flapjacks. Very, a very popular cake. Some people are under the illusion that it's healthy. When you see how much butter, sugar and syrup goes into it, you'll see that it's not particularly healthy. But it's, it's a very good staple cake to have in the cupboard. It keeps for a long time. Um, and if you have a big bit of it, it will keep you going all day. So the first thing we need, I've put the recipe there, although I do guess the butter. I'm putting, I think I put 350 grams, because I usually do a packet and a bit, and there's 250 grams in a packet. So that's one packet. And a bit. Now my husband set up the camera at a completely different angle today because he thought you couldn't see enough of my little blackboard. So hopefully you can still hear me because you're, you're a bit further away. So there was that much off that block. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah. So we put that on to melt. So when we're at the cafe, we make it in a square tin, um, probably slightly bigger than this. Um, so, but today I'm gonna I'm gonna make it in one of these tins because it fits in my oven much better. Um, but yeah, normally it's in a square tin, and we get nine pieces out of um, a flapjack. The rowing club often have um, white chocolate or dark chocolate on the top of theirs. There's a little extra thing. Right, I'll just move that over to the cooler plate. Okay, we'll weigh out the sugar. So, you have to excuse my poor plastic bowl. I made onion barges last night. I have quite a lot of turmeric in them, so everything has gone a bit yellow. <laughs> so 125 grams of sugar. We're going to put that into there and then it will be eight tablespoons of syrup. So working with your, all you Dake and Bakers in your own kitchens, you've all got special gadgets for tablespoons. I have noticed that I don't even have a tablespoon, I don't think this was the best I could get. So what I'll do is I'll do a one of those and just shush it off and hopefully that is about a tablespoon but yes you've all got special measuring spoons and measuring cups and all sorts of things i don't have anything like that okay so we're going to do eight of these it's quite dull because i'm going to have to have my back to you i use this one up first i i got this one from the cafe so i'll just use this one up first One good one to do with the trainees because um, it helps them with their counting as well. A lot of them can now recite to me. I'll say, How many spoonfuls of syrup? and they all say, Eight. <laughs> there we are, that's three. Mm. Oh, roof noises. Mm. Right, we'll make that four. Get that little bit as well. And then I will get the other tin over. Five. Six. Seven. that's about half a tin of that syrup. Scrape all that off, we don't want to waste any. Right, so this is all melting. We want to get it all melted together and bubbling really, because we've got to get the um, oats to absorb all the syrup. So the next thing to weigh out is the oats. Oh, it's the only thing with this sort of recipe to get shoot the syrup everywhere. Right, okay, so we need 550 grams of oats. Okay, 
And as you can see, it's quite a lot of oats, but there's a lot of liquid there. Well, that's 550. That's nearly all melted. Okay, so I've already greased and lined my tin, so that's all ready to go. Um, as I said, we do use a square one, slightly bigger than this. I think this must might be a seven inch and we probably use an eight inch at, at work. But I'm gonna use this one today. Right, so we'll pop all that in now. It's all melted. So I wonder how many of you are shocked how much butter and syrup's gone in there. Not much sugar, but yes, a lot of syrup and a lot of butter. So we stir all those oats in. All you've got to do now is just get it all mixed up. In fact, I can take it off the heat. It doesn't need to be on the heat now. I've got those hob covers. They're very handy things to stand hot things on. So, as you can see, I'm just going to stir it all up. Right, and that goes into the tin. You can put a little bit of honey in it, but it doesn't tend to set as firm if you put honey in. That's why I always use syrup at work. At home, I probably would use a little bit of honey. I'm trying to stick to recipes that you know at the moment. I mean, if you're interested at all, I could do the onion parties one day that I made last night. That would be an interesting one because we, we definitely don't do those at work. So, now I'm going to press it all down. I'm going to come around this side of the table if that's alright. Press it all down. And then it will go into quite a Oven. I mean, at work we do it on about 200 and we only want to do it until it's got a bit of colour in it. The worst thing you can have is flapjack that's rock hard. It's not nice at all. So it's really just to get a little bit of colour in it and then we'll leave it to cool completely in the tin and then we'll slice it later. There you are. Flapjack going into the oven now. It'll be in the oven for about 20 minutes, I'd say. Um, and then we'll leave it to cool in the tin and cut it later. Okay, so there you are, a semi-healthy cake. <laughs> okay, then see you soon, Dakin Bakers. Bye.